we want to find the parametric equations of the line passing through points A and B. Notice how points A and B are points in space. A line parallel to a vector V, called a direction vector, passing through the point X sub one, comma Y sub one, comma Z sub one, is given by the following parametric equations. So notice how if we can find the direction vector, the components of the direction vector, A, B, and C, give us the coefficients of the variable T, which is the independent variable, and the coordinates of the point on the line, x sub one, y sub one, z sub one, give us the constant in each parametric equation. So notice how the components of the direction vector, a, b, and c, can be thought of as the rate of change of x, y, and z with respect to the independent variable t. Let's look at these two points in space. Here's a graph of the two points in space. Again, our goal is to find the parametric equations of the line passing through these two points. But to do this, we first need to find the direction vector, which is graphed here in purple. To find this direction vector, though, we can actually use the two points that we know are on the line. We can treat point A as the initial point and point B as a terminal point of our vector that's parallel to the line. If we write this in component form, it will give us our direction vector. So let's first find our direction vector, which would be vector a, b. To write vector a, b in component form, again, we take the coordinates of the terminal point and subtract the corresponding coordinates of the initial point. So the x component of vector a, b, or direction vector, would be five minus three. The y component would be one minus negative six. And the z component would be negative four minus seven. So our direction vector, has an x component of two, a y component of seven, and a z component of negative eleven. So this means that a is equal to two, b is equal to seven, and c equals eleven. And now to find the parametric equations, normally it doesn't matter which point we use, but notice how they did give us the first equation for x of t. We're given x of t equals three plus two t. So notice how this constant here is three, which means we should use the point with an x-coordinate of three. So we'll be using point A to write our parametric equations. So if we're using point A, which has coordinates three comma negative six comma seven, this tells us that x sub one will be three, y sub one will be negative six, and z sub one will be seven. So our parametric equations, we already know x of t equals three plus two t, and y of t would be equal to negative six plus seven t, and z of t would be equal to seven minus eleven t. A couple more important things to mention here. Parametric equations are not unique. Remember, x sub one, y sub one, z sub one can be any point on the line. Notice how if we used point b, the equations would look different, but would give us the same line. We can also use any scalar multiple of the direction vector here, which notice would change the values of a, b, and c, but again, it would still give us the same line. Let's take a look at the graph of our line in space. Here's the graph of the line. Notice how it does pass through the two blue points, and we can also tell that this yellow line is in the same direction or parallel to our direction vector graphed here in purple. I hope you found this helpful.